All right, hey VC, my name is Jamie and we are back, yes, with another unboxing and this one an actual unboxing. Uh, just got it, uh, Bob Dylan's The Rolling Thunder Review, the 1975 live recordings, and this is the 14 disc box set. Uh, it has just arrived, so we'll uh, crack it open and take a look inside. So it's Bob Dylan, The Rolling Thunder Review, the 1975 live recordings, the legendary 1975 tour, 14 disc set, over 100 previously unreleased tracks, five complete shows, newly mixed, three discs of rehearsals, and bonus disc of rarities. So very excited about this one. And this is not officially uh, part of the bootleg series, I don't believe. This is being uh, released uh, in conjunction with the uh, Martin Scorsese uh, documentary, uh, Rolling Thunder Review, which uh, arrives on Netflix this week, or at least this week in Canada. I don't know if it's already available on Netflix uh, in the States, but in Netflix Canada, I think it comes out this Wednesday. So look forward to seeing that for sure. So there's quite a lot going on uh, for this uh, box before we open it up we've got uh, Bob Dylan there and as I recall with this uh, re well with this uh, concert tour with this review it was quite the uh, cast of extras of course uh, Bob Dylan and he's on stage often with white makeup uh, on and I read a, an article just recently that Bob Dylan says he got the idea of just this this white makeup on his face uh, quite simply from Kiss apparently he thought that was kind of cool and so he just kind of slapped it on and thought hey something different so apparently he got the idea for the white uh, white 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 face or the white makeup uh, from kiss okay so there's uh, bob dylan there and uh, here's all the uh, shows uh, listed on the back okay and there we have that and then on the top they have this And then on the side, they've got this. So yeah, lots going on for this box. And on the bottom, they just have the red. Okay, so there you have that. So let's, uh, without further ado, uh, let's open it up. Yeah, certainly looking forward to seeing the uh, Martin Scorsese uh, uh, movie. And as I say, yeah, this uh, concert tour uh, was quite a big show uh, that featured a lot of uh, extra people like Joan Baez was part of this tour. Uh, Allen Ginsberg, I believe, was also part of the tour. Uh, Mick Ronson, Sam Shepard. Um, yeah, just a whole host of people. And okay, this looks like it is slightly glued on here. So I'll take care to take this off just a little bit of glue on the bottom and it looks like just a little bit on the top I'll take care to take that off <clears throat> as I've talked about it's interesting that sometimes the glue comes right off no problem this one's stuck on not too badly which is not a good thing when you're trying to get it off and there we go okay so then we have this uh, for the uh, complete backing here so we've got that, and then we've got that. Okay, and I believe this opens up on the top like that. There we have it. Just pop that there. And then the discs are housed inside like that. So there you go. And it looks like, of course, we got the booklet uh, right off the top. Let's just put that there for a sec. And yeah, Bob Dylan and uh, Rolling Thunder Review. 1975 live recordings. Just a small little booklet uh, for this. And so let's take a look inside and see what we see. It's pretty thick, so a lot of reading. Unfortunately, when it's a slightly smaller book like that, it's uh, certainly tinier print. And uh, yeah, there's uh, Roger McGuinn, The Birds also. Okay, and yeah, this tour went everywhere. Not sure who that is with Bob Dylan there, if it says. Oh, I guess that's, I believe that would be Joe Baez there. Okay. Yes, for the stage makeup there. And there they both are with the makeup. But yeah, got the idea from Kiss, apparently, according to an article I just read. Okay. 
And then we've got the disc information, but lots of pictures, which is quite nice. Okay. Looks great. Lots of music. My goodness. Okay. Here we go. Some of the few of the many people involved. And cast characters. Okay, so there you have it. There is the booklet, and I'll take a look at uh, some of the CDs. Again, 14 disc set. Um, Alright, so we've got, and they're all in just very nice uh, cardboard. And that, and then you get song listings there, and the discs looking just like that. So there's one. Should get them all up for you. Because there's different pictures on each one, which is quite nice. Give you a quick overview for the, I'm sure the, and different colors for the label. The, I'm sure the the disc labels are pretty much going to be all the same, maybe just some slight variants on the color. But so much great music here. Okay. Oh, and it's interesting. Oh, I hadn't really noticed that. Gosh, they have, uh, it, it's even inside. Uh, they're printed with, looks like, I don't know if that's on the other discs as well. Just one second, let me take a look here. I hadn't realized there was stuff going on in the inside, too. That is pretty cool. So what have we got here? Uh, disc 2. So let's open that up. Oh, wow. So there's something different on the inside of each disc as well. That's attention to detail that I like. And as I said, it's nice too that they're, they're cardboard, but each has the spine on the side uh, for packaging, which is quite nice. And so that one seems to have the same one as well. That was disc one, disc two. Okay, and then, oh, interesting, and then they seem to double them up. So that, those are all single discs, but this is disc four and five. So we have that. And interesting packaging here. So this opens up like that, and then I guess you you get the discs on the inside. Nothing on the inside of these, but then we have one. And the other. Okay, so we'll pop that away. And then, yeah, most of the other ones now are all uh, double discs. Um, I guess in terms of the... Uh, in terms of the concerts, uh, carrying on from the one into the other, because this is Harvard Square Theatre, Cambridge, discs six and seven, it looks like it just kind of continues. Okay, that inside. There's that. Uh, forgive me if I haven't shown a, a back and song listing there. So this is uh, Boston Music Hall, Boston. This is disc eight and nine. Yeah, I know some people don't like when you have to get the CDs from inside like that. It gets a little awkward rather than on that. I can sort of see that. It, it does get to be a little awkward. But, uh, so disc 10 and 11, this is again Boston Music Hall, Boston, the evening show, continued November 21st, 1975. Very cool. And we'll take a look at those discs inside. Nothing on the inside of these in terms of uh, any other pictures and things like that. And then we have 12, 13. And that opens up like that. Lots of great, lots of great photos on this. And then like that. And then last but not least, or last and least, disc 14, single disc 14. And this uh, is a bonus a disc of a variety of uh, different performances, including Montreal, uh, New York. Okay, and uh, 
and then that opens up like that and this does have uh, some sort of yeah so it looks like audience uh, you won't I don't think you'll be able to see that but uh, you can just slightly see the audience in there okay so there you have it looking forward to listening to some Bob and the, and the cast Oh, it's interesting on the top. Yeah, that's uh, Toronto's Maple Leaf Gardens. I didn't even notice that right off. Okay, so there you go. Bob Dylan, Rolling Thunder Review. And uh, I had owned the uh, Bob Dylan from the Bootleg Series 1975. And this is one of the few ones where the sticker, the hype sticker, was slapped right on. Thankfully, it's just the uh, cardboard uh, sleeve on the outer. But I, that, that kind of drove me crazy because that was slapped right on, on like that. But anyway, regardless, we will enjoy. And uh, thank you for dropping by. Take care. Bye-bye.